Hey, Clay. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good. Welcome to Anonymous Tattoo. This is an awesome right. space. Very good. How are you? Thank you. My name is Clay McKay. I've been tattooing 23 years, maybe 24 if I remember correctly. I do classic tattoos. I like it to look like it's in the skin, not on the skin. I am the longest working, existing tattoo artist in Savannah. I got into tattooing because I thought there needed to be somebody in Savannah doing custom tattooing. Well, what was it like when you first started here? The reason there's shops on this street is because I pulled the zoning. I talked to the landlords. You were a pioneer. I'm the godfather of tattooing in modern Savannah. I started it. I'm Brittany Lively, and I've been tattooing nine years. I specialize in illustrative new school, and I use a lot of bright colors. I'm not just some cute, thin-skinned princess. I busted my ass to get to where I am. I don't fear anybody outside these walls in this town. Oh, hey. Hey. We got your first competitor in here. You must be Brittany. I am. Clay. Sorry, Clay. Nice Brittany. to meet you. I've heard of your shop. It's a really nice place. Why don't you tell us about yourself? How long have you been tattooing for? I see, about nine years. How do you feel about competing against somebody who's been tattooing for 23 years? It's a little daunting. It'll be some competition. Looking forward to it. Yes. I'm Jimmy Butcher, and I've been tattooing for 15 years. I have my own style, slightly abstract, that feels more like art. I want people to see that I'm pushing boundaries to create something new and exciting that's never been done before. Oh, welcome. Here we are. What's up? It's the hermit crab. The hermit, the hermit crab. crab. Still hang on to that after 20 years? What exactly is happening here? We've been on the same block. Oh no, you moved into the shell of my old shop. So you opened your shop next to this shop, but you were the pioneer. You got it. Did you feel like there would be any kind of issues moving in there? Could have something to do with the fact that I have a huge sign two doors down with my name on it. You moved in right next door, yeah. put a big honking sign up. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I'm here to assert uh, my position in this town at the moment. So you guys ready to get this started? Yeah. This is how the competition's gonna go down. You have two elimination tattoos, and one person's gonna be eliminated each round. So. Whoever survives these two elimination tattoos, you get to tattoo against an ink master. It's intimidating. Well, I yeah, I she's great. Hopefully you guys are ready because I am definitely ready to get back in the ring. If you can beat her, you secure your spot on Ink Master and a shot at $100,000. All right. Woo. Awesome. <laughs> your first elimination tattoo is going to be a two-hour tattoo. We are in Savannah, and Georgia is known for its peaches. Ah, peaches are difficult. We are going to be looking at style, shading, outline, and overall application. Your canvases have been randomly assigned, and they're completely open. Yes. Get set up. We're going to send in your canvases. This place is nice, too. Maybe I should put my name on it. <laughs> you can have the sloppy seconds again. I mean, I didn't bring the first settlers here or anything. You didn't do anything first. We took old timers. Hey, hi. Hey, nice to meet you. Hey, Jimmy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. All right, you guys. You have two hours to tattoo a peach, and your time starts now. Hey, so. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no pressure. That's really neat, just as an outline. That's what makes a good tattoo. There's a lot of problem solving involved in tattooing a peach. It really kind of fits nicely. Yeah, I like the way the arrow is pointing, too. Because you have to figure out, how do I apply black to make sure that this tattoo lasts the test of time rather than fades away because I use too many peach tones? Ready? Ready. Well, it's done with the outline and we just started. It makes me nervous to go up against someone who I've been next door to for 15 years. I grew up in a household that nourished an ambitious, artistic, creative person, and then I walked into a world that didn't like that. I faced a lot of violent situations just because I was trying to do me. 
I don't know how this is gonna go because I don't really know what I'm doing. I've made it a point to dedicate my life to creating a world where I can be myself all the time. The Butcher, I mean, that's, that's what it's about. It's everyone who works there and everyone who comes in can be proud and excited to be whoever they want. What's this? A heart with an arrow through it because the peach is kind of heart shapey. I can blend this line style with a realism color, and that's what's so cool about kind of winging it a little bit. Improvising is definitely, you know, the ballsy move in the competition sense. My reputation on this block, everything that I've built is on the line with this tattoo today. My strategy for the peach, a badass tattoo that is bulletproof. I'm shooting for perfection on this. Ready? Ready? You gonna get it? Are you gonna get that? You gonna Go get, get it, it. Haley. Go get it, girl. Good job. I've been in Savannah a long, long time. I want my kids to know what I've done for this city and tattooing. I want them to be like, yeah, that was my dad. He did that. Oh, oh nice. Geez. Makes me happy to see them proud of me. Did you just take a marker and make a straight line and just wing it? Gravity would pull that string in that direction. Well, so. yeah, of course, but no one takes a marker and just draws a straight ass line and tattoos it perfectly. Just real quick, let me just... do that. 30 minutes left. There's only 30 minutes. Damn, you went big. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Yes, we did. Well, hopefully you work fast, because this is damn near a quarter sleeve. I want to push the envelope. This is my chance to prove myself and kick ass and take names. Being a young woman in this industry and trying to gain some traction is a little difficult, because it's most certainly a boys club through and through. Coming to Savannah changed everything for me. I went from having almost no tattoo career to being able to help open up a shop. From struggle comes clarity. There's the black, there's no black. It's just pastel on pastel. Everything is going to be washed out. I hope she realizes it before it's too late. <laughs> Doing, guys. We did it. So what do you think? Did everything go according to plan? Designed it in my laboratory and it worked. Well, the tattoo that Jimmy pulled out today is a very cool tattoo, but that's an apple. That's an apple. My honest thought is that he was afraid of making it look like a butt, so he didn't put the little peach crease. But he has really clean line work in that tattoo. The tattoo that Brittany did missed the one biggest thing that she needed for that tattoo to actually be good. There's just no black. That thing is not going to hold up. I love the shape of the wind bars. I think it gives it a little bit more movement, but damn it, give me that black. You know what's crazy about Clay's tattoo? There's a lot of brilliance in the simplicity of it. He started with beautiful line work. The black contrasted against the colors of the peach makes the peach pop up out of the skin. You can see the years of experience in that tattoo. We're just gonna have to figure out who's edging out a little further ahead. I did a quarter sleeve in two hours. It's not about how much space you can cover in two hours. It's about what's good and what works, and you know what and to look And holds for. up. I have issues with both of you guys' tattoos. Seems like we have some pretty mixed opinions on what happened today. I thought Jimmy's was a trendy mess of whimsical, sloppy line. Or you could say that it was a very trendy, popular, cool. I like timeless, not yeah, trendy. Not if it yes, it's created to be a timeless tattoo. It's with trendy. A style People that's... will know that was done. 
2000. But after 20 years, why aren't you paving the way? It's not about reinventing the wheel. It's about doing a badass version of whatever you're doing. It's really interesting because we have a completely old school mentality and a more new school mentality as far as styles are concerned. We can't necessarily judge things on our taste. We're judging on the quality of each style that you guys are doing. We have reached a decision and the winner of today's elimination tattoo is...